very panicked what may be in these records for good reason because uh, I've been told by very many uh, reputable sources that when he was the head of Halliburton and lived here in McLean, Virginia part-time, uh, Dick Cheney, uh, his numbers turn up uh, on, on the D.C. Madam's uh, uh, phone list. You know, we'd certainly hate to see these numbers show up on the Internet. Uh, what uh, Dick Cheney has done is claimed executive privilege for destroying the visitors' logs. We don't know what they turn up because we haven't seen them. Is If they actually indeed have been destroyed and cannot be accessed, is this executive privilege or has no, been a crime committed? No, either, either way, uh, I mean, he's claiming executive privilege. Fine. If he's going to claim that, and I think it's debatable whether he can do that. Uh, it's, those records are covered under the Presidential Records Act, which means that eventually they would go into the archives. Those records cannot be destroyed. That's a, that's a, that's a crime to destroy those records. Uh, this would be like Nixon destroying all the tapes uh, when he was ordered to hand them over. This is also a, a, a pending court case because the records have been asked for by a couple of groups here in Washington. So he can't have it both ways. Either either they're covered under the Freedom of Information Act, which means that they again they cannot be destroyed, uh, or they're covered under the Presidential Records Act. Either way, they're not allowed to be destroyed. And if he's ordered the destruction of those records, he's committed a crime. Well, how serious is that? Crime? It's a very it's a very serious crime because uh, this is this is the whole uh, basis for uh, you know uh, freedom of information, the archiving of. Of, of, of government records for future use by historians, uh, and, and it's, a, it's a very serious, it's a very serious thing. And my former party, the Democratic Party, uh, are they investigating this? Well, they should be, but um, um, as, I, as I've been told, um, uh, anything associated with the uh, the escort list uh, may involve some Democrats as well. As we know, the chairman of Disney. Disney, of course, owns ABC. The chairman of Disney is George Mitchell, the former uh, Democratic leader in the Senate, and he played an important part in kiboshing the story. So we've got a case here where the Washington elite, the Washington Post, uh, the Democrats, and, and the Republicans are, com are, are basically cooperating in killing this story. Is this reminiscent at all of the D.C. Page Boy scandal of the early 90s? Yeah, every 10 years we seem to have an explosion here of, of, the, of this type of uh, sex scandal involving prostitutes, either, you know, uh, uh, women or, or, or homosexuals, uh, male homosexuals. And this is just another, another indication. But I think what makes this more serious is that this is tied directly into the investigation of, of Abramoff and his influence peddling, which we know now went far beyond getting free meals at Signature's restaurant, his restaurant in Washington, and expanded to uh, bribery and also uh, the, the uh, providing of, uh, of uh, prostitutes. Well, Wayne, this is one place where we can see that both parties have finally found common ground in blocking this investigation. Wayne Madsen, what else can you add uh, before we have to go. Well, I'm, I've got a story up today uh, where I've, I've, I've basically narrowed in uh, with, you know, working with this gag order by the federal judge, uh, narrowed in the, uh, the phone list. Uh, we, we've, uh, we've, got a, we've got a number uh, that's on the, on the uh, escort phone list that is in the same office that Dick Cheney used at McLean that was later used uh, by the Bush-Cheney transition team in 2000. Interestingly enough, the office building uh, that rented the space is the West Group, and the uh, vice president for marketing of that company is none other than Alice Starr, the wife of uh, former Monica Gate, uh, independent counsel Kenneth Starr. Wayne, looks like we've got some breaking news here, and, and hopefully somebody's going to do an investigation on this. Wayne Madsen, the Wayne Madsen Report. Uh, new website? A new website had to go... Uh, uh, pay, some paid had, had to provide you know paid content because the big boys were stealing and not giving in many cases not giving credit and the uh, uh, but uh, sort of like based on the, the salon model we'll see how it works hopefully we'll be able to keep going here Wayne Madsen thanks for joining us on INN good to be with you.